Hey guys, today I'll be unboxing the new Axial AX24. I am really excited, to be honest with you. I got it, took it straight out of the box, and I'm really impressed with this little device. Uh, yeah, so let's open it up and see. So, firstly, you've got your card. Just tied down to the bottom. But yeah, straight from the start, you can see everything that this car has to offer. Then, there's the new Spectrum remote. the remote of course and then you've got a little baggie, instructions, some stickers and batteries. There's a charging scooter as well and some tools. Right, let me give the top view. Alright, there we are. So straight out of the box, nothing has been changed on it, modified anything. You can see the suspension is really really good on this one. Um, get into any angle quite easily and it gets itself out uh, once you open it up it's uh, what is just mounted with the velcro it is really convenient I prefer this a lot more to the clips or the FMX 24 where you have to get your finger underneath um, sausage fingers aren't easy to work with so straight off we'll just turn it on Plug your battery in and then <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. So this thing uh, it has three different settings uh, the front. That's the only thing that's confusing about this, but nothing serious. There you go. So that would be the first setting, it's just having the front um, front wheels working. You just press up like onto A on the remote, press once, then you can crawl at a 45 angle, and then B would give you the 360 rotation. I'll show you guys some videos of what it can do outside. It's really been impressive for me, but to be honest with you, Something that has been bothering me about this device is, well device, this little car is that it's a bit light and it struggles to keep itself grounded. So it's great that you have the suspension that can go in all these different angles, but once you are actually driving, it just kind of pushes itself away and just keeps on flipping. So there's plenty of videos of me driving that I already took and I will just add to this video. Uh, so I am very excited for next to make some adjustments to this maybe just put in the aluminium housings and add a bit more weight uh, but yeah from the start I do like the softer tires however a lot of people say it's too soft for me I like it that it's kind of a, a sticky effect you know when you pull like it actually mounts and can go anywhere I think it uh, just depends on what you want to do um, yeah, so in my experience, really, really nice for the out of the box. However, I would like to see some upgrades on this car and we will be having those videos as soon as next products are being released. Um, in terms of the motor, once again, I can't really say that it's not powerful enough because the car is too light and it flips itself over. It's kind of hard to make that judgment call. Um, but I have seen the... Komodo from FMX, so that would slide it right there. What I do like about this is that everything is hidden, everything is in place, makes it really easy for you to work. Just pop your battery out there, the pin, your latch, and there we go. Makes it really nice to have everything well in place, everything is secure, you don't worry about things that might go missing or bounce out of place when you have a tumble. So yeah, in my experience, I do like this car quite a lot. However, I would like it if it is a bit heavier. 
I mean, uh, I think it weighs 200 grams out of the box, which is not a lot to keep itself grounded. I do understand that it's a smaller vehicle, but you've got quite a bit of height. I mean, the ground clearance is uh, 3.4 centimeters. And yeah, the weight is 203 grams on this small device, a uh, small car. So it's, yeah, something that has to be changed. See, this is what I was talking about with the sausage fingers. Um, I'll just do that later. But yeah, so as you can see, it's not really that big of a car. Obviously, it's 124 scale. Um, but yeah, it's about 20 centimeters long. You've got 13 centimeters wide. So I think that's a good ratio. Just the added weight would have been nice. Total height is about 10 centimeters. So it's really not a massive vehicle um, compared to others. Compared to my FMX, it looks smaller. Uh, however, it's still the same scale. Um, but yeah, I will add a couple of videos so you can see what I'm talking about when I'm referring to it falling over and tumbling. Um, but yeah, very excited to upgrade this and to see what we can change. I think once you remove the plastic, everything <laughs> from it and just replace it with a nice frame. I know that Fury Tech already has a new frame for it carbon fiber as well um, that would give it a bit more uh, sense of stability uh, and then also would like to replace all these arms and everything with aluminium parts get the, the housing put that over onto aluminium add a bit of weight and I think that would make a big 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 difference all right guys let me know what you think if you have it what challenges should we try with this and where would you like to see it drive